Hey everyone, I'm Sifu Lawrence Hill. Welcome to Systems Within Systems. You can check me out on systemswithinsystems.com. That will connect you to all the sites and everything that we're doing. So we have been working on 30 Move Self-Defense, which is a two-man form. And today we're going to show the back motion to that um, to get everybody set up. So, you know, as we're leading in to all these moves, and the breakdowns of these moves. Did I do the breakdown of these moves yet? Yeah. I did, okay. And the hand turning, the twisting, we did all that as well. Mm -hmm. From here to here, cross, hit, open up the jacket, over the knee, come out, hit, right? And then we come in, mm -hmm. and then we punch, kick, boom, boom, boom. So now we're gonna get into the back motion. Now one of the things then the, uh, that I may have already discussed, as far as when you do it in two man, two man's teaching you timing, range, how to work with another individual, how to copy movements, and how to anticipate movements on another person. So when you are practicing this part here, coming out from here and coming through with this here, when you're doing your kick, you kick, but you don't fall forward. Okay, that's important. It's also important in, in real combat. So here, when you're throwing this shin kick, you kick and then bring it back. So it's almost back like- Back up a little bit more, just hmm? so you can see. Back up a little bit more so you can it's see. Good. Yeah, that's good. So you kick, right? Don't fall forward with the kick, especially when you're doing it with two men. When you're throwing this shin kick, right? You're hitting and you're just, you're either coming down here then stepping out, or it comes faster here, back, and here. But you don't want to kick and fall forward. And you'll see that in a two-man form, but also in the street when we talked about kicking. I know in other videos I've already discussed that. You never want to fall forward, and people do that. And some of my experience in the street with people that didn't know how to kick or just throwing their legs up, they would fall forward, they would come right into the weapon or into the fight, and things you know, got pretty messy, all right? So now on the back motion, all right? From here, you're coming out, you're circling, coming here, all right? You did your kick, all right? Out here, here. When you're coming back, all right? Let's do it with the hands on the hips for the moment. You gotta come back to a cat stance, all right? Then it shoots be fast your foot comes back, turns into a horse stance, a comfortable horse, right? You don't want to get down too low. Though women have a tendency, which is good, uh, their legs are a lot more flexible than most of the men and they get down nice and low. It looks really nice, okay? So from here, when I'm coming to this point, I shoot past, come here, turn, both feet, and I'm here. Then it's gonna go again, I come into here, shoot past here, and you're gonna watch the ground here, it's a little uneven, all right? So watch you don't damage your legs and stuff if you're working on even ground, make the necessary adjustments. Most of the time you're doing this on a mat or on flat ground, so it's easy to make the transitions. Here it's more difficult, so you have to make the adjustments as you go, depending on what your workout turf is, all right? So you got this here and here. Just to show you a little bit before we break down again, it's coming here, comes around here, Dance. Then you've got to repeat. Comes here, back here, here, and down. Okay? At that point, the forward motion, you're kicking. The back motion here, you're defending against the person that's kicking you in the two man form. All right? All right, so. <clears throat> am I explaining that good? Good? So from here, you did this circle. Okay? And I'll do a front angle once we finish this as well. What you gotta do is you form the muscle. You form the muscle the same as you're going forward. As you come back up to your light leg, right? The lead hand, whether it's right or left, you gotta come back. Your hand that's behind, which has to be up, not just here, remember we talked about that, it's up, comes to here. Again, it's underneath your elbow. I like to think of it like a like an ashtray that's facing up, right? Okay? So those moves, 
coming back are here, right? Coming back are here, okay? So, um, again, also, when you're doing the move to come out to your block, your hands are gonna open up, you're gonna open up this way here, right? Thumb in, more of a chop formation. Keep your thumb in, right? Because you're gonna be blocking more this way. Or your thumb more curved, more like, a, like an eagle claw with a slight bend to the handwork. That's up to you. At this point here, I'm gonna be coming this way, you see? This way, opening up, right? So my hands open up to come out and they'll be facing up and down. This way, right, from the fist, they open up and come down, okay? So, on the side view, or just the idea of the breakdown of the hands, here, again, you circle here, right? This hand bends in, you come into your tax stance. Now, at this point, as I start bringing this leg back, and coming into my horse stance, and by the way, this is all done on a straight line. All right, so it's almost kind of like you're close to a balance beam or an edge of a cliff. You've got to stay off that, on that line. You don't want to fall off of it from either side. All right, so from here, my hands now, as my foot comes back, open up. So they open up, I come back, I plant this foot, turn it, plant this foot, turn it. I break the holes, which, you know, doesn't work in real life, or right? just to give you a, a placement here, and I come down. Now I'm gonna repeat, which you guys should have. This just does this again, this circles, and now I'm coming back with the opposite leg. As I come back here, I open my hands up, I move down, turn my feet, face them forward, come down to here. And then from here, boom, boom, here, open, here, here. shoes are moving on me a little bit on this ground probably be better barefoot but we'll deal with what we're dealing with okay okay so on this point here from here to here coming back here break here 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 break this is your block for the kick this hand is just above over your head you see how it's up over my head then I'm gonna come here and here now to close it, you're gonna come back this way, okay? So from here, right over left, left over right, whatever you're comfortable with, here. My feet will come together. I come here, here, boom. So as this is coming down, it's like pushing down on the hand by the wrist and then closing. So you wanna try and close your feet with your hand movement at the same time, all right? So from here to here, as I come around, you see how they bend down. I'm coming this way, I'm coming up, here, in. So it's moving this way, here. So from here, I'm coming here, here, in, okay? All right, guys, that's it going backwards. That's the whole of 30 moves. So again, from the top, you're just becoming here, 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 circle, here, kick, then you do it again, kick, then you come back, here, down, here, 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 down, here, and then, boom. It's usually five times forward and five times back. All right, and then the next time we get together, I'll be working with somebody and we'll show you what it's like to do the two man. Hopefully on more even ground than this, if we can find any, all right? All right, grow, learn, teach.